self perception and identification is best explored in the pages that I read, and the books that I, well, the books that I read, and the pages that I write. To better explain myself, I decided to take a different approach to this. So, yeah. If my life was a book, it would be loosely titled "Dysfunctionally Awkward." I don't know who that is, or Fifty Shades of Blonde. Those are all working. I definitely would not be the author of my story. It would be smashed somewhere between other books in the young adult section. And I would most likely be a New York Times bestseller. My references and reviews are credible, but it's the glimpse on the back of the book that entices the reader. Like all great fictional heroines, I don't expose my name to you until three or four pages in. Everything else, my looks, my personality, my issues, are all laid out on page one. I'm an outcast, I'm timid, I'm shy, I'm not the best dresser in the class, and I'll probably end up with the guy that just walked in the first period, everybody's been talking about him, and he's super hot. He might sparkle, he might drive a motorcycle, I prefer the latter, and he doesn't show up until chapter two. And as you follow the struggles of my tormented youth, you'll find that through the progression of every chapter, I become a little less dull. The great part about being a reader is that it becomes intimate. I'm not talking about Anastasia Steele or Christian Grey intimate. I'm talking about an instant connection with a written character that, as a reader, you can relate to. You don't read a book without creating an attachment, whether that's a painful one because of an assigned high school reading or personal reading in your free time. In my story, you'll explore my fictional life as my leadership and independence become evident by my morals and ethical decisions such as my choice to finish my homework before sneaking out with my super hot boyfriend, or helping a, uh, just a friend in need, like a uh, poor little swine. And my attempt to be the epitome, if not the real embodiment of a Disney princess. I always persevere despite the odds and rise against the challenge of a dangerously dramatic life altering situation. Whether I'm the chosen one or I'm leading an army with dragons to reclaim my throne, you find that I believe in myself, my decisions, and my personal goals to achieve success. Every main character has flaws, like doubts or the inability to choose between the baker's son or your childhood friend. But a main character also becomes as strong as you perceive them to be. That being said, my name is Amanda Wright, and so we're about